In our last video, we installed Flutter, but in today's video, we're going to do a bit more. We're going to build out an application. We're going to get a better understanding of how the components work in Flutter and how to use them. If you don't know who I am, I'm Adrian from Australia. I do videos around design and development. So if you haven't already, hit like and subscribe and we're going to jump straight into it. So to build our very first application, what we're going to be doing is creating a list of startup business idea names. And here's a GIF of what that'll look like. It's just basic made up names for business ideas. But in the essence of what we're doing is we're trying to create a loadable list, which is which essentially has infinite scroll and it keeps loading and updating automatically as we need it. It'll work for iOS and Android uh, and hopefully this will be pretty simple to do. So to get started, we'll need to replace the content of our main .dart file here with this new content here. This is just some welcome information. So if we have a look and read through this to see what it's doing, we can see that it's importing Flutter. It's creating a class here called a stateless widget. And this widget is putting in a couple of things. It's creating a title here called welcome to Flutter. It's creating an app bar and this app bar has a title called welcome to Flutter as well as a body. And the body just has a text element of hello world. So let's copy this in over here and save that. And we can see that that's applied immediately. So that was pretty simple. Let's continue on and have a look at what's next. So here is two examples of what the application will look like on both iOS and Android. It basically has a negative feel depending on which device you're using. Let's take a look at more or less how this example is working right now. We've got a main method which uses an arrow function and this initializes our app. So that's just over here. We can see that it's running my app and my app is extending the stateless widget and the widgets being built. So this is this section here where we're creating a stateless widget that we're enhancing in Flutter. What we're trying to do is add something to there. So in this case, we're adding some scaffolding and this is providing the app bar and the title. So if we take a look at our text in here, this is where we're developing this section here with the material um, app and a title with some scaffolding. And the material app is essentially producing a couple of elements here. So we've got the app bar and we've got the body. The app bar, we've got the title here, which is just a text element saying welcome Flutter. And the body item is centered here with a text element of hello world. Um, not running Flutter, so I'm just going to rerun that so that you guys can see what's going on. And hopefully we can jump back into this example just to make sure that it's in line with the code that we have. The next part of this tutorial is to add an external package in. And we're going to add the package in here for English words, which contains all the words we're going to be using to create the list of company names. Now we can find the English names package over here in um, pub.dev. And to do that, we're going to have to add some stuff here into the pubspec.yam YAML file that manages the assets. So what we're going to do is we're going to open that up and we're going to add this line of code in here. So Let's go here into our VS code and let's find that file. So I believe that's a pub spec here and YAML. And we're just going to scroll down now in our documentation. We're putting this under the dependencies section. So here we've got dependencies and we've got a couple of different ones. We've got dependencies for the package and we also have dev dependencies. In this case, we're going to put them in the main dependencies just under uh, these icons over here. Let's paste that in and double check if there's anything else we need to do. So uh, while viewing this, we can click on packages git in uh, Android Studio just to make sure that we have that. So we can run a command here, which is flutter pub get, which will make sure that we've got those packages. So we're gonna run that. I'll open up the terminal over here and just paste that in and that should get everything that we need. Okay, so now that that's done, we can now import it into our main.dart file, which is pretty simple. We just import package name, English words, referencing uh, English words dot dart. So let's close this YAML file off and let's close out most of our editing tools here and we'll just paste this in above. 
So that's just over here. We can see that uh, that's in there now and I'm going to hit save and hopefully that's in the package. We now just have to start using it. So to start using it, we're going to generate text instead of using the hello world string here. And to do that, we're going to call the package, which is word pair dot use Pascal case, I suppose. And we're going to do this just over here. So first we're going to have to import a random word and then we're going to reference that. So let's do that. We'll, we'll copy over this class and we'll paste this straight below the widget section, which is just over here. This is just before the return section as well. This should create that variable or option here for word pair. And then after that, we'll replace the element here that we had for the text element of hello world. And we'll put in this section here for the word pair. Let's put that in and we'll hit save and let's see if that updates. There we go. looks like that worked. We've got a ring nut text uh, in there, but I suppose every time we hit save, it's going to change the name of what's appearing on there. So that's pretty cool. So what we've got here now is we're calling weird pair here and we're calling a random function. And this function is then being applied here into our body text as a Pascal case. Now uh, let's have a look at what we're going to do next. We've got the hot reloading. So we've already tested out how the name is changing every time we hit save. So the next thing we're going to do is add some state to our widget. And we're going to do this following the documentation over here. So let's read what we need to do. So for a stateless widget to be um, immutable, we need to make sure that we're creating some state. Uh, and this works throughout the widget lifetime, even if you do hot reloading. The uh, stateful widget is created as an instant with the state class. So a stateful widget class itself is immutable. Um, but the state of the class persists over the lifetime of the widget. So that makes sense. It's, it just means that your variables will stay there even after hot reloading. Now to do this, we're going to have a random words class here, or we're going to create some state for the random words here. And we'll make sure that this has a basic method to run. So in this case, what we're doing is we're creating a basic state here which will be called random word state, which will extend the state of random words. So let's copy over this syntax and we're just going to paste it here. Now for this syntax, we're also going to make sure that we're, uh, let's see, notice declaration as the stateful random words widgets is added into the main dot. The random widgets word does not, doesn't do much else but create the state. So that's fair enough. Um, if we take a look at this here, then um, it's just extending this section here and creating some state in here. So, all right, no worries. Um, and then after this, we'll need to add the basic build method to generate the word pairings and generate the code from my app from the random word state and build it. So what does this mean? It essentially means that we're extending the previous widget, uh, but part of that is we're setting the final word pair to be set as a variable here, which will pass in as a text object to return. So I'm gonna paste this text in here and replace the one that we had previously. So here we can see that we're creating a widget here, which is creating that random pair word as a text object that we'll pass in later. And finally, instead of creating an element in here, we're going to remove these two lines of code and replace the new class that we've created down below. So I'm just going to scroll down here and replace this section here. We'll remove this variable we're setting and that should be it. So that was really cool. We now have separated the random word section for our text into a separate class. We're going to now get to create our infinite scrolling list view. And to do this, we're going to expand out the word state and generate a list of word pairings so that the user scrolls with a list view. They'll have a infinitely scrollable view of different text essentially. We're going to have to use the component here for list view. Um, and to do that, we're going to build a list view builder factory constructor that allows us to build the uh, list with lazy loading, I suppose. I uh, haven't done this before, so hopefully it should be easy enough, but let's take a look. So 
to do this, we're going to create a variable here for suggestions and for a bigger font size. And uh, what we're going to do is add this to the random word state uh, class for suggesting word pairings and also add this. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm copying over these two and I'm going to paste them here into the random word state extension. Uh, so that's just over here. We'll make sure we apply this just at the top of our file over here. I think it is before the final section. Great. So after that, we'll want to add uh, build suggestions with a function of the random word state class. And if we take a look at what we need to do that the list view provides a builder property called item builder. And that's the factory builder for the callback function, which will create the elements. So we can create a I variable for the index starting off at zero and go from there. So let's, let's see what we need to do to do that. We're going to create a brand new widget over here. And this is just going to be add build suggestions here as a function to the random word state class. So let's jump here to the random word state class uh, section. And I think it's separate. Is it? No, it's, it's going into random word state. So it would be just here and we're going to put it in. So instead of a build, this is going to be build suggestions. And this widget uh, will have a couple of properties here. So it'll have an item builder. It'll have some information here on its uh, expressions and how it works. But the main part is we're going to also need to add a widget here for building the rows. So let's put that in here and we'll just paste it in below. And from what I can see here, this one here has some padding. It's got information about how it's going through, whether it's an odd item, an index, uh, it's generating those word pairings and returning the build row. So this build row widget here is a list tile. So that's the component we'll be using here. And this list tile will be passing in a pair. And the pair here, I assume, will be the um, random text that we generated and the font size that we're passing in as well. All right. And finally, we'll need to add one more thing here. So in the random word state class, we'll need to update the build function method to use the build suggestions. So let's, uh, let's jump into that one and replace the one that we had previously with this. So I think uh, let's let's scroll down here, copy this. We'll go to the build section. Uh, this one is what we had previously. And in this case, I suppose uh, we're returning this whole section here, which is um, the app bar and the build suggestions in general. So I think that should be almost it. Finally, we'll need to jump into the main my app class and update its own build so that we're calling random words instead. So that's pretty simple. We'll remove pretty much everything from that one, which is this whole section for um, app bar and body and everything. So let's, let's remove that. We'll keep, no, we're removing the scaffolding as well. So let's remove the scaffolding section here. Are we keeping the title? Um, no, we're removing the title as well. And we're replacing all of this with this section here. So here we've got a new name for the title and the home section itself is now random words. So let's save that and see how we go. Great. So there we go. We've, we've got our section up and running. It's a list view. Uh, what's happening here is our app is running. It's calling random words. Random words is then creating our state. And this is then being called here where we're getting random pair word suggestions and font sizes. This is then being built with our build suggestions. Our build suggestions are creating a list view builder. And this is then going to our build row, which is generating our list tile with our text that we've passed here as a pair. So that's looking all good. Um, I guess that's our first example of building out a list view. In our next example, we'll take a look at what we need to do to create another application. Maybe we'll create our own, but for the time being, I think this gets us up and running with the basics. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.